What's up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about a newsletter that just came out for Ready or Not. Today, brought to us by the very generous community management team, which I believe includes Gwen and Kaminsky. Kaminsky was the one that actually posted this in both discords. And I'm just going to read this off from the uh, email here. Cause I just think it looks better overall. But uh, yeah, the name of this update is called Briefing 32 Environmental Storytelling. It starts off with saying, Howdy gamers. Welcome to the 32nd edition of our bi-weekly development update. This time around, we're going to explore elements of the environmental storytelling in game, breathing life and adding detail to the world of Ready or Not. Yeah, they definitely said that they want to do a lot more environmental storytelling from like really the beginning. And now we're just kind of getting a glimpse of it. So that's really not surprising. But continuing on, Los Sunes is a city in decline, widespread poverty, Poverty and homelessness, skyrocketing crime rates, and a lack of municipal support are just some of the issues facing the local population. There is an aura of desperation and hopelessness across the city, and the symptoms and results of this can be found throughout the game's levels. Without further ado, let's explore the everyday realities of Los Sunins, a stagnant, stunted place. The For You gas station has been hit hard by the Los Suenos woes. The city officials' refusal to budge on wage increases has led to a now 40-week-long strike by San sanitation workers. Garbage is piling up in the streets, and it's nauseating. Stench lingers wherever you go. I have to wonder if your companions are actually going to comment on this. They said that they wanted them to be like SWAT 4, where they basically see something and then they comment on it. That sort of thing. Imagine them walking by garbage and being like, damn. That stinks. Yes, Eli, I know it fucking stinks. You don't have to tell me twice. I can fucking see it. Can't wait to hear what they say, but we got our first picture here. And it just looks like the back alley of a garbage place. What the hell is that supposed to be? A dirt pile? Who throws out dirt like that? Is that a bed frame right there on the right side? There's a couch on the left. That's pretty much expected. Bunch of boxes, tires, wood, a couple of pallets there. Surprisingly, in this garbage, there's a bunch of like bushes growing here, which I think is possible, right? But uh, yeah, aside from that, we got a wall here. Here. No parking all the time, and there's a freaking car there. A highway on the back side there, and some sort of apartments on the right. I think I could see a sign on the left side there that kind of says arts or at least a part of it. Maybe car parts or I don't know. But that's all I pretty much have. Wow, well, there's actually some buildings in the background behind the highway there. That's pretty much everything that I could see underneath this picture. It says they've stopped trying to maintain it. Why bother? But it makes sense though, right? If you're not getting paid enough to do the job, then why even do it? But of course, I'm sure these rich assholes wouldn't care, right? Moving on from that, there is another picture underneath this one. This is what looks like the front of the gas station. I'm guessing it's just showing off a little more garbage at the front here. You know, for a city that doesn't pick up a whole lot. This actually looks relatively clean. Maybe that's just me. But it did say that garbage was piling up on the streets, so what gives? Is this what counts in New Zealand as a lot of garbage? I don't know. You tell me. But anyways, we actually got like a city right here, which I don't know if we're going to be able to explore, if I'm being honest. It definitely looks like we could walk over here at least. Why does the roof look like it's too close to this wall right here on the left side? It's interesting. And there's also some cement barricades right there underneath that. It's an odd spot to put them. There also appears to be some sort of metal drawer thing over over there behind the cement thing you can barely see it but definitely something there there's nothing really too significant here it's just kind of showing off the outskirts of the map which is kind of cool definitely gives more world building instead of just having like a dark shadow behind the map here there's a bike in the street right here somebody just left it there that's gonna get stolen especially if it works i've had my bike stolen but yeah that's really all i got to say about that so let's push on underneath the picture it says trash ends up wherever there's space no one's paid to pick it up again it just feels like there's a lot less trash here than what I was expecting. Like, people seem to pick it up because it looks pretty uh, spacious here. But anyways, as if things weren't bad enough, a robbery gone wrong turns into a hostage situation inside the gas station. An armed civilian tried to put a stop to things early, but being a hero doesn't always pan out. Uh-oh. Is that a shot at people that think that a good guy with a gun can always get a bad guy with a gun? I probably shouldn't talk about something like that, so I'm just gonna look at this picture. Though this picture is obviously the back part of gas station here, it seems like they might have shot somebody in the back bathroom here. I'm assuming this is that good Samaritan with the gun. He just got freaking capped and it's down on the floor there. This kind of makes me think, are there guns that are going to be on the floor before we actually get there? So if somebody decides to get up and run, they could actually go to a place that actually has a gun on the floor already? That's 
interesting. This sure is a lot of bullet holes here and a lot of blood on the walls, but I only see maybe like one body. Maybe it's just that one person that made all this blood. I don't know. That's all I can really say about this. Underneath this picture, it says, you should have known better. Luck wasn't on his side. In this city, is it ever? That's a good question. Underneath this is a uh, another picture that's a close-up of the gun here. And oh, look, the bullet jammed. Don't you just hate it when that happens, especially in a situation where you need to use a gun against someone else? Yikes. What a bad time for that to happen, huh? I guess that's what it means by luck wasn't on his side. But yeah, not too much to say about this picture. Just a couple of show casings and a jammed gun here. Which also kind of makes me wonder if we're going to be able to jam our own guns. I don't think it would make sense though because I imagine coppers keep their guns pretty clean but who knows. They made it so that if you kick a door three times you can break your leg. Why not be able to jam your gun? But anyways moving on. Underneath the picture it says a failure to eject at the worst possible time. Yeah I'll say. Moving on to the next thing here we got. It's no surprise people are driven to crime with the beleaguered Debanco security services protesting for safer working conditions amidst a string of robberies. There's no one to transport money for the banks. No one to refill ATMs. So wait, are you saying if somebody wanted to rob an ATM, they wouldn't get anything? Why even rob the store? Hmm. Underneath this is a picture of an ATM that is in the game. I've actually seen this in Hotel, actually. The McVee and Cayman group welcome. I believe they said that this was a reference to something. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was, though. I think it might have been uh, American Psycho. I could be wrong, but I think that's what the reference was. I'm not too sure, though. Actually, yeah, it is a reference to American Psycho, but uh, it was only a reference inside of the hotel. Feed me a stray cat. That's not featured here though, unfortunately. But anyways, underneath this picture it says, we can't even access the money that we have. What the hell can we do? Yeah, like I said, like, well, if no one's refilling the ATMs, then why even rob it, right? But yeah, underneath this is another picture and uh, there's a bunch of drawings on this and man, that is very untextured. No cash out. Is this like another ATM? This looks like one of the very generic ones that I always see. But yeah, again, this is probably one that nobody can actually get anything from. So yeah, underneath this it says, just a machine that mocks us. What's it good for? Like I said, but moving on from that, it says, Throughout Los Sunos, you'll be able to see the broader signs of the city's struggles through its media outlets, whether it's over radio, TV broadcasts, or newspaper publications. Everyone's looking for answers that no one seems to have. A series of magazines in the game's levels can flesh out the story. And I got a picture here of Los Sunos Today, Mexican-American War, a history from the Los Sunan perspective, water wars protest in Tijuana turned violent, the Banco conflict privateers, water wars, oh shit, we're really that bad. Huh? I'm trying to read what it says over here. Upper and something unpack maybe. Uh, goids? Last Los? I'm not sure what that means. But uh, yeah, that's definitely interesting. Wow, this magazine is only like two bucks. Interesting. Issue number 5,289. Wow. Some magazines cost more than that. I've always seen like magazines at the front of cashier stuff, but I, I never like look at the price. I just look at, <laughs> look at the magazine. But anyways, underneath this, it says a little bit of history for one of America's most storied and now downtrodden cities. Underneath this is another picture that shows off a bunch of $100 bills here. And I'm assuming that's drugs. I don't know what kind of drugs that could possibly be. Got needles here. I'm trying to read what that says upside down. Permanent marker. Oh, I probably should have saw that, but yeah. Got a cigarette on the table. Just a bunch of drugs, but let's read what the magazine says. Tecate border with Los Sunos sees protests over water shortages. Further border fights break out in the belt. Mexico report. Oh boy. Underneath this, it says trouble across the border. Tensions boiling over. Who's going to fix this? Not the government, I'll tell you that. Underneath this is another picture of another magazine. Oh God. I hate Hate that text the Garibaldi, Garibaldi get I'm assuming it says Garibaldi because it says right there Garibaldi magazine issue J511 the rat king sanitation worker strike spreads to downtown Los Sunos overlord of garbage has unleashed a massive rodent problem yeah I believe it underneath this picture it says even the affluent are starting to feel the pain the rat spread like the plague yep it's gonna be a bitch to take care of I'll tell you what this is the taste of what you're going to expect from your nuts environmental storytelling as we strive to make the world come alive and include as much detail as we can in every level to contribute to the world
world that we've built. You'll see more and more added with continued updates to the game, so be on the lookout. Okay, this concludes our 30 second bi-weekly newsletter focusing on various story beats located in the game's levels. Please tune in next time for even more development news and keep an eye out for our social media. Okay, so that pretty much does it for the newsletter. What are your guys' thoughts? Nothing too crazy in here, I don't think. Before we end the video here, there was a couple of mini dev updates, so we'll just go over those really quick. The first one was posted by Grunter. He has a gif of Rambo, I believe. Hopefully this won't get me copyrighted because it is just a gif, but underneath this is a picture of that underground area that's featured in Meth House, a background area, and you can see freaking the dude in the goddamn hole right there. There's a shovel. Is that man gonna pop out and knife the shit out of us? That guy definitely looks like the Gerard model that they were showing off. Is that his like little hidey hole there? Is he gonna move around like a fucking spider? That's gonna scare the crap out of a lot of people, I can already tell. But alright, moving on from that. Oh my god. Did they finally fix the fucking flashlight? Holy shit. Thank you, Rapolio, for posting this. Finally fixing the damn flashlight. I mean, I think it looks better, but I don't know. I feel like it could still use just a little bigger cone, you know. I still think that the OG flashlight is better, but the current flashlight is just trash. This was not too bad. Now, if only they could fix the G36C, where's the damn rail? I've been complaining about this for a while now, and they had the goal to say that I had a skill issue. What, are you kidding me? I played this game without a fucking flashlight or an MVG. I still got through all their damn maps. Skill issue. That look a skill issue. Underneath this is another picture called Scare. I'm not sure what it means by scare, but this is the meth house here where he's coming up the stairs and it's like really dark, I guess. I think that's a candle in the corner over there because it's kind of lit up over there. I'm assuming he's saying scare because there's uh, probably somebody hiding behind the stairs or something. I don't know. Pretty cool looking picture, but let's move on to the next one here. Yeah, he's a little further up the stairs than this next one here. Looking around the corner corner with his pistol i'm not sure what kind of pistol that is from the dark side but i'm sure you guys you gun nuts over here could probably figure that one out and yeah that pretty much does it for the mini updates i don't think there's anything else here well, i guess i could show off this video of the mini dev bugs Where he ties them up and he freaking just falls through the map. Like, I had a feeling that something like that would happen. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have when it comes to Ready or Not News. Oh, so I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. I hope you had fun. I had fun. I don't care what you say. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or hop on that join button. Any donation helps. And with that, I'll be said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye